Hey guys, it's Stretch, and today we are reviewing the Nerf Rival Jupiter from the Edge series. Included is the Nerf Rival Jupiter Blaster, pieces to assemble the dinging target, bipod, 10 Nerf Rival rounds, and the instructions. Now some assembly is required for the target piece. You'll simply take your target piece, attach each of these at this angle on each side. If you mess up, no worries, you can take them back off, which is great. Then you will take this piece and you will snap your target pieces in there like that. Sometimes it's a little difficult. You're just gonna have to line it up and then push pretty hard. And then you have your dinging target every time you hit it. With this blaster, you will prime back on the bolt action priming handle. And then in the breech door up here, you will load up to 10 rounds. Then you will push forward on the priming handle. You can drop it down or keep it up. It'll fire either way. You fire once, pull back, prime again, fire again. Okay guys, so we have the Nerf Rival Jupiter here and we this is the review part of the video for this blaster. Um, so first let's cover some cosmetics. They have this kind of I wouldn't say it's green, it's, it's like yellowish green, kind of neon color as the main color. And you have a big orange barrel here. I've got an orange flip up sight right here. And you have an orange loading breech door. And then this little orange piece here. You have a red trigger, a red uh, priming handle here. You got a black tack rail up here, a black grip on this little black um, frame right here an orange monopod release and then you have your red monopod right there um, so that's pretty much it for the cosmetics um, and then you have two attachments points on this blaster you have the one down here for the included bipod and you have one up here for if you'd like to add a nerf rival sight or a flashlight if you wanted to you could also add the flashlight down here it doesn't matter um, Yep, so that's it for the attachment points. Some really cool features about this blaster is it's a lot more like a real sniper rifle. You have this great um, bolt action rifle uh, priming handle here. Um, you can shoot it like this. It'll fire without you having to push it down, but you get that more real feel pushing it down. I also really like the style of the trigger. It's very unique. 
um, you know, that there's not a space back here because normally it goes into the handle. It's just like a free hanging trigger and it feels very good to pull. You guys also got this unique squared safety kind of piece here. And then you have um, this nice red monopod which comes down and when you're ready for that to go back, um, you just push that button there. Uh, I apologize if you can't see the whole blaster. Uh, sometimes my camera doesn't capture the uh, whole blaster in the uh, lens there. Um, but some really cool features about this blaster. Um, th those are really cool features about it. Um, some pros, I would say, is that it has a 10 run internal magazine. Uh, this flip up sight is nice and it's very easy to aim because it corresponds with these rear iron sights. Um, you got a nice priming indicator right here. Uh, it's very easy to see and you have this strange kind of like rubber piece, but it's still very hard. It's like a rubbery plastic um, Which feels very good on your cheek for, as a cheek rest. Uh, the monopods a cool touch I would never use it um, in a battle. It's just more cosmetic wise um, I'm not really the biggest fan of the paint color. I'd say that's one of the cons uh, the green is kind of strange, but you can easily spray paint it and do some cool colors with that. Um, another con is, you know, I don't really know exactly what Hasbro was thinking here. So, they only made it able for a right-handed person to shoot with the priming indicator, but they made the safety for a lefty. Because everybody knows if you're a righty, you hold the gun with your right hand. You have to take your thumb off, move it all the way over here just to release your safety. So, they made it... For a left hand shooter, the safety is for a left hand shooter, and to prime it, it's for a right hand shooter. That is just very strange. Um, doesn't really make any sense to me, but um, you know, whatever. Uh, they could have easily just had the safety go on this side too, but I guess they decided to go, you know, hey, let's make it easy for right handed people to shoot the blaster and make it easy for left handed people to unlock the blaster's safety. Um, so that's really weird. I don't really know what they were thinking. Um, so that, you know, that's interesting. The functionality of this blaster is great. Never had any jams. You can do very quick um, loading. It's not very hard to pull this back and it still shoots very hard. Sometimes it gets caught a little bit. Um, you just have to push forward and pull back again. Um, but other than that, the functionality is great. I've never had any jams with this blaster, which is a positive. So, you know, you don't want your blaster to constantly jam, and this one never jams at all. Um, so that's also a really big positive. Now, would I use this blaster? Definitely. Um, I would use this blaster in any nerf battle. Um, you know, you, you got all kinds of good stuff with this blaster. And, you know, a negative is it's not magazine fed, but you don't really need it to. It shoots very hard, and just the cosmetic appeal is very cool. Um, so I would definitely use this in really any Nerf rival blaster. My favorite part about this blaster is probably the priming handle and that it feels like a real rifle. Um, I like guns and you know when they when Nerf makes them feel a lot more like a real gun, it's a lot more comfortable for your hand. The grip is very comfortable and very ergonomic and you know I shot a few hundred rounds through this without taking my hand off of the grip and it did not hurt at the end. Um, which, you know, I can't say that for a lot of other Nerf blasters, so that is a big positive, um, and that's definitely my favorite part. My least favorite part of this blaster is probably either the greenish-yellow paint color they went with, or this, like, overly large orange barrel, um, but I'd say my biggest, like, least favorite part of this blaster is that they... You know, I understand the bolt handle being only on one side, but they didn't make it all for righties. They made it half for righties and half for a lefty, which is really weird. Um, so, I mean, you know, because lefties could start shooting as a righty just with this particular blaster, but now you have to, you know, you can be either, and it's still not going to be the best blaster it can be. Um, so that's my least favorite part. Now, should you buy this blaster? Absolutely. Now, I got it from Walmart on some weird sale, and I was supposed to get three, but then they kind of just didn't give me the other two, and it was a whole issue. But I only paid $13 for this blaster. It retails for $50. Um, I would definitely buy this blaster for $50. It's great. I was a little worried it would be 
kind of not the best blaster but it is an amazing blaster and I love firing it it's so much fun to shoot so much fun to use um, and you can do some really cool stuff with this blaster now maybe I will do a mod on this blaster we'll see in the future I'd be a little worried because you're not pulling on both sides you're pulling at an angle when you're pulling on the bolt action so I'd be a little worried about putting a really big spring in there um, but maybe we'll do just a little bit of a bigger spring mod and you know fix up the plunger tube um, maybe do some kind of mag uh, mod as well we'll probably spray paint it too if we do do a mod um, but we'll see where it goes now there are a couple included attachments uh, it comes with the nerf bipod uh, the nerf bipod is in a box right now so I can't show you but it is in the included attachments video which is earlier in this main video um, but I do have the target here so you can see it better now there is another nerf um, blaster that comes with the rival edge series I believe it's the oh, what is it I can't remember the name but it's a pistol and it comes with one of these targets but it doesn't have a ding piece on it so the ding piece is really quite cool every time you hit it with a nerf rival round it makes that cool dinging noise it's got this little piece of metal here uh, and then a metal plate right here now this was a really nice thing for nerf to do because um, normally they like to cheap out a lot when they're making their products like this like targets and all that um, and it's really nice that it's included with the blaster uh, you can use this with mega rounds um, nerf elite rounds you can use it with any gun and it'll always make that ding noise which is really nice um, so that is a big plus to this blaster as well um, but yeah so that's one of the included attachments and it also comes with that bipod which is super cool um, now uh, so that concludes my video for the, the review part of this video and now we will go on to the firing demo for this blast. So we'll be shooting the Nerf Rival Jupiter today. Uh, I just decided to add the bipod on there for the effect if you're using it in a battle and we will be reloading uh, a few rounds into it just to show you um, the breech loading process. So here we go. Okay, we are out, so we'll prime that back, and we'll put two more rounds in just to show you. And that concludes our firing demo for the Nerf Rival Jupiter. Now we're on the chart part of the video for the Nerf Jupiter. For the accuracy, I gave it a 100 out of 100. It's very hard to miss with this blaster. For the firing rate, I gave it a 60 out of 100. For the trigger, I gave it a 100 out of 100. For the range, I gave it a 100 out of 100. For the grip, I also gave it a 100 out of 100. Now we will move on to part two of the Nerf Jupiter chart video. For the loading, I gave it a 60 out of 100. For the playability, I gave it a 100 out of 100. For the size, I gave it a 90 out of 100. For the overall cost, I gave it a 95 out of 100. My personal rating for this blaster is 95 out of 100. And the blaster average is 90 out of 100. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That'll really help me uh, be able to get more videos out there. Uh, it'll really help me just stay motivated to uh, continue making videos. Um, please also hit that thumbs up button. Give that video a like. Also hit that bell notification so you'll get any new notifications uh, for when I post a new video out there. So you guys can watch it as soon as I have that posted. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you have any questions or comments, use the comment section below and I will respond as fast as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.